Football in America first started in 1886. It originated from England's rugby, so when they first started out, it was still like rugby, in which they did not wear shoulder pads, a helmet, and the ball was still circular shaped. The first universities to play the sport were Princeton University and Yale University. The teams consisted of 15 players, and there was still no downs, and also contact was no rules. So when they first started off, many players started to get injured. To reduce the injuries, the universities paired up and created a set of rules in which the players would wear a helmet, which consisted of leather. The two teams would be consisted of 11 players instead of the original 15. And there's also downs. As said before, the first helmet started off with leather. Down the road, it also became more padded, but it was still leather. In about the 70s and 80s, they added the face mask and the helmet was made of plastic. Although they did all this, they couldn't expect what was to happen next. Winston. gets whacked so he couldn't make the one-hander on the play before and somehow some way look at this one not only a one-handed catch but to absorb that 22 with a quick fake handoff to win smith so mobile as a quarterback and he takes a vicious shot edwin jackson getting his money's worth roethlisberger from the pocket middle of the field incomplete First look, oh, a flag does come in. Went to the head. Lewis Harris is going to be flagged for this on the hit on Antonio Brown. He's in the league and still run people down. Brady in trouble. Here comes the rush, and here's the hit. Oh. And a lie. Brady's up. That's good to see, but a, what looked like a knockout hit by Nate Clements, who played against Brady. When How do you feel about the roughness of the game? including all the injuries and concussions? Well, I believe, I'm a firm believer in that football is a contact sport. We love the game because we go out and throw our bodies up against each other and try to knock each other out. And although injuries are a part of the game, it is dangerous, but that's, as a football player, you have to live with that because this is the game that we love and sometimes that stuff comes with uh, the game. So, in my opinion, if we can do things to make the game safer, all for it. But if it cuts back on the contact and everything else on the game, I'd rather keep football as football is. Move upfield. Brown splits special teamers, and now Brown is off to the races. Hurdles kicks a man, and a flag is thrown. They're going to get Brown for that uh, hurdle. Right to the face of Lanning. For 12 years, as Lanning has Kai, and the ball's out. Kai took a vicious hit. He's still down, hasn't moved. Kai is just absolutely frozen on the field. And Brady to the back of the end zone, caught for a touchdown. So Keyshawn Martin, but a flag is down at the four-yard line. Off the play fake, over the middle, and oh. fumbled, and then the ball is intercepted as it was McCourty who comes up with it. And McCourty with a flag down on the run back for the moment. Rivers is the last guy there. He gets into the end zone. There's a flag down at the... from the end zone, rolling right. He throws, and Harris had to deflect away. Over the middle again. Welker drilled down by Swearinger. Here comes the flag. Welker down at the 44-yard line, but the hit is going to add 15. He's got Philip Buchanan is in Brad Johnson's face immediately. I think that's what Monty Kiffin's going to be doing all day, moves bringing that pressure. Sam Polescu.
How do you feel about the roughness of the game of football and also the concussions involved? The roughness, I think that's just the nature of the game. Players sign up for that. Uh, they know, and parents have to know that you're going to hit each other. It's a contact sport. Uh, but the concussion ones, it's went way down since the late 80s and 90s. Back then, the helmets were really thin. They have improved so much, and the NFL has taken so many more precautions. And that's trickled down into the college level, high school, and then junior level. Um, even Virginia Tech, they've done a study on helmets to make them better. And helmets that were five stars three years ago are now four, four stars. They just keep improving on um, the helmets. And everyone really, I think, since that concussion movies came out, has kind of loosened up. Uh, refs are watching it closely. If they hit them in the head, they're going to call it, even with, even with their shoulders. Um, the game has been, become a lot safer nowadays, I think. Shazier lays out Bernard, and Shazier comes up with the football. Whistles. Sanchez throws middle. What a shot by Lewis on Dustin Keller. As the ball arrived, shoulder pad leveling down, so there's no penalty. See if you can. On the 26, he'll get a shot at it. Whoa! Helmets out, balls out. Oh my. And Josh Cribbs is probably out. Morgan Cox made the tackle. Bomber. Gets hit, down he goes. Balls out. Recovered by Keekley. Knocked out by Short. Quick one out to Sim. Never had control of it, and it's intercepted on the deflection by Mark Barron. He's on the move. He's going to run it. And belt it out of bounds at about the 25 yard line. Pat White is hurt. He hasn't moved since he took that hit. <laughs> wow, Hayne. Well, that one will get. The tailback, Reeves swings it out to Bush, and the ball is knocked away, and an incomplete pass, and a crunching hit put on by Sheldon Brown, and Bush uh, takes a while to get up. Defenses, but, uh, I mean, teams go into a, a game with four, five, six different cadences. Which well, that's, didn't have that. that's, that's one for Joyner where you wonder why. Yeah. There was no doubt about it at Bridge with a nickel. Gratto, they come from the side. He is hit by Williams, a former Texan, and the ball. Here's with the line on second. 15, and that is an all-league smack. The football comes loose, and they are still going. David How has football impacted your life? Well, I started football my sophomore year of high school, and I didn't know much about football. I just know to... Either catch the ball or go hit the guy who's got the ball. And as I've gotten more progressive in football, it's changed my life because I've gotten to know the sport more. I've gotten more snaps in. And now I'm going to be starting for the varsity team. And uh, this has impacted me in school because people now look to me in a leadership role because as a football player, you're held to a higher standard. And so people look for you to do the right thing in life so yeah